did on some writing, like, you know, while you working on the beat, like, it was just like, it was great. It's a great day. The sec, I, I was, um, after the first day, I, I, when you sent me the bounce, I was playing it all night. I was like, I was like, this shit is a fucking banger. Yeah. And so I was like, I was like, and, uh, you know, like going through the motions in the music industry, you know, you're like, all right. I don't know if this is really gonna be on the album though, or I don't know if it's gonna make it. So I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I'm gonna just, you know, throw it to the side or whatever. And then I was like, if they call me back the second day to finish, it's going on the album. And so they call me back the second day. I was like, it's on. I was like, and then it was just cool how our relationship was from there. You know, yeah, that's right, man. I like guess that. probably before you, yeah, the first time you found out it was definitely on the album is when we saw each other at um, the festival in Bakersfield. What's it called? Um, Lightning in a bottle. Lightning in a bottle. What a great festival as well, man. Yeah, you were like walking around backstage with your shirt off. And I just I <laughs> and I just grabbed you and was like, dude, you gotta hear the version. Took you in our dressing room and we just blasted you the tune yeah. and you were like tripping. Yeah, it was great. Get closer, I can't believe that was your first session, man. Because like you came in as if you've done this a thousand times. You were so like confident. I've done I've done the I've done, been in the studio a bunch of times. Right. But I, I've never been the guy in the studio. Never been a guy in the studio. Got it. How did you feel? Did you feel like it kind of gave you more freedom to just focus on the lyrics and nail it, or was it like, oh, I really yeah, it gave, it gave me, it gave me a lot more freedom. And then I was, I was looking over your shoulder, watch, like, you know, I like, I like to steal people's, like, um, you know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a student, so I, I watch, you know, and I was over your shoulder watching you. I didn't know you could put Ableton as a VST in Logic. Oh, that's know, right, yeah. Running the, running that's the right, yeah. We put, all the, we put all the iPad stuff in Ableton, and then Ableton feeding into Logic. That's right. Yeah, it was very. Uh, I love watching producer videos, so it was a great, great watching, watching that be, be build. I can't believe that was your first session, man. Because like you came in as if you've done this a thousand times. You were so like confident. I've done, I've done the, I've done, been in the studio a bunch of times. Right. I, but I never been the people. guy, in the, never been the guy in the studio. Got it. How did you feel? Did you feel like it kind of gave you more freedom to just focus on the lyrics and nail it, or was it like, oh, I really yeah, it gave, it gave me, it gave me a lot more freedom. And then I was, I was looking over your shoulder, watch, like you know, I like, I like to steal people's, like, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a student, so I, I watch, you know, and I was over your shoulder watching you. I didn't know you could put Ableton as a VST in Logic. Oh, you that's know, right. You yeah, running the, running that's the right. Yeah, we put all Ableton. the, we put all the iPad stuff in Ableton, and then Ableton feeding into Logic. That's right. Yeah, it was very. Uh, I love watching producer videos, so it was a great, 